Hey y'all, it's Nubian Customs here and I'm here with another DIY. I started it off, I took um a couple pictures of it or whatnot. It's just a basic t-shirt that I'm just doing a little bit of distressing and ripping to. I started off with the collar and all I did was make some strips across and then I pulled on them to make them, you know, all loose or whatnot. And then when we wash it, it's gonna get even more distressed and so far all I'm doing is I took the bottom so I'm gonna crop this because you know I love my crop tops y'all and I'm gonna have it to where it's down here and we're gonna make more shreds like this so it's gonna just hang all the way in the back it's gonna come all the way down hang it and then the front from under total package so this whole area is just going to have rips in it. And I plan on getting a yellow bra to wear with this or some type of chocolate bra. Um, and probably do like some paint splatters and whatnot and add to it. So we'll be back in a second, child. Oh, and if you like my DIYs or if you're into DIYs and stuff like that, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe to my page. Also follow me on IG. And yeah, we'll be back after we crop this out. And like I said, we're gonna distress the whole part right here like this. And we're gonna flip it over to the back and the whole back is gonna be like this, but it's gonna be a crop top. So after I get done doing all that, I'll come back and show you guys how it's looking. So all I did was go across with my fabric scissors and made a straight line across. Also, um, some people like to iron. Some people just make sure the garment's real flat. So what I did, I just made sure it's real flat. I went to school for this type of stuff, so I've done pinned and all type of stuff, so I can kind of freehand it. But if you're not used to doing this, please make sure that everything is lined up as flat as possible. What I mean by that is make sure this is laying flat, make sure your seams are lined up, make sure if it's a seam on the side, like you want this to be flat as possible, because if not, your outfit's going to come out crooked. I'm distressing this, so I mean, it really doesn't matter like that. But however, if you want it to look more professional rather than just, I don't know, <laughs> make sure stuff is lined up for the best results. All right, and then now all I'm gonna do is like how I did in this area right here, start taking those cuts across. We're not gonna start all the way from the edge, I'm gonna start probably like have a inch of allowance on there so that way it doesn't run all the way through to the back and then you just have like a shirt that's just too little and just looks like a big ass hole so yeah and then the back is just basic it's nothing special and i'm also going to do about an inch of allowance on the back as well Hey, as you can see, I took a colored pencil and I outlined my seam allowance. And also, as you see, I use a color that is super, super light. Or if I wash it, it's going to come right off. Not nothing that's going to be permanent. And I also did a line up here. And as you can see, I'm going to finish out that line. And then in between here, it really doesn't matter. You can cut it however you want it. If you want to measure them out to make sure that they're all even, you can. Like I said, I done eyeballed and did certain things so many times. And I just like crafts and stuff anyway. So I can eyeball things. So. But if not, just take that ruler and just make little markings on each side. And that way you can make sure when you're cutting across that it's going how you need it to go. And then I'm going to flip it around to the back, and I'm going to make that same seam allowance. And I used a grid ruler, and all I did was I lined it up right here with the shirt. And as you can tell, this is the same height as this to make sure our lines was even. And it's so ironic that it lined up perfect like that. However, um... 
I went over one inch with the orange in there as well. So it's about an inch and a half of seam allowance. And I marked it up here, marked up there, then I traced it, then I went across and made my line. Now I'm just going to go with the scissors, and and after I go in with the scissors, I'm going to pull taut, so that way we get this effect on the shirt. Okay, so I just did the cuts across in the front. Make sure when you get to the bottom to hold it. If you do not hold it, it's a chance that you'll cut your whole strip at the bottom. And right now, all I'm going to do, I'm trying to hold my phone and do this so y'all can see it. <sighs> it's a little ghetto, but I'm just going to pull like this. And that's how you get your little strips. I'm going to do that all the way down. After you get done stretching out your fabric in the front, you should have something like this. And this is your seam allowance on the side. I kind of messed up on one side. And um, like I said, I was freehanding this, even though I traced the line right there. But these two, it's a little bit outside the seam allowance, but then I went back in. It's only on these two, which I think it gave it kind of some character to it, if you ask me. And it's probably going to make the fit a little bit better. So, like I said, it's just those two. The rest is all on the same allowance for the most part. Now we're going to work our way on to the back. Um, after I get the basic distress in here and try it on, I probably go back in here and add some more rips on the sleeves and in these areas. Um, I plan on going in with bleach and yellow paint and white paint. <laughs> this is along the back side.
After all the distressing, I got something like this. Did an asymmetrical sleeve. Side. Same method as just for the front and back. And I did the cat scratch method on the sleeve. I'm not sure what I really want to do with that, but I got an idea. So I said, cut off the tag so that's not showing in the back. Get the whole way down. Now we're gonna do the bleach process. I also did on the sleeves a little bit too. And around the color. So when we wash it, it's gonna have little distress marks and stuff on it as well. Yeah. Okay, so now we're on to the bleaching process. I just got it hanging over my sink on a hanger. So you can see how it's going to fall. And then this sleeve is just, I think I'm going to um, put my Nubian somehow on this part. I'm not sure how I want to do it yet. But that's just the front. And then this is the back. I know it looks a little crazy right now. It's cut on the sink too. But like I said, I'm gonna get like either a chocolate raw, a yellow raw, or the fact that I'm bleaching it, I might either can do a cream or um, you know, however this might come out. <laughs> I'm just going at to go with the process. Um. I already have some bleach in a spray bottle. You can use any type of spray bottle that you prefer. I like this because I like how it sprays so I can get up close or spray from far away. It's mostly bleach. I use gel bleach. And I added about this much water to the bleach so it's not as potent. I have asthma. I'm really not supposed to be working with this without a mask on. So if you do have asthma or any type of health or breathing issues, I would prefer that you wear gloves and a mask or something to cover your face or your mouth. Because or do this outside where it's gonna be um what's the word that I'm looking for? <laughs> it can um ventilate, yeah. So it can ventilate. But, um, I'm in the house. I'm used to doing all of this. I'm going to get better. That's what I said. Just make sure you're being safe when you're doing your crafts. And I'm just going to spray in desired areas however I want. Um, so, like, right here, I can get up close, and it's going to drip. Spray from far away. And also, I'm going to get my blow dryer out. I'm spraying in certain areas up close, so that way... It's really defined. And you're just gonna just do this. However, as you see, it's turning a really funky color. And that's what I was saying. Like, when I do get a bra, I'm just gonna wait until I get done with the whole shirt. That way, I can see how white things are. Yeah. Like right now, like this bleach is getting to me, like, because it's so potent. 
but you can see it's starting to come through. And a close, a close coat. And then you can let that sit for a minute or however. Like I said, I'm about to get the blow dryer and I'm going to blow dry it so that I can see how the color is going to come through without having to take so much time. Or wait in that way if I want more white spots, I can get more white. If I want it to be more darker like how that is. It can be more darker than when I wash it. It's still going to change up some. But this is just so y'all can get a general idea. Of how it's gonna come. And I'll be back after I get done spray painting this and not spray painting, I mean <laughs> spraying the bleach on this shirt and I'll tell y'all. Like this is like however much you wanna layer it, like I said. Like I got sprayed a whole bunch on those, so those are starting to turn around. I'm about to open up my windows, y'all, if I end up having an asthma attack. But yeah, I think I'm gonna like it. See you in a minute, y'all. Okay, so I done bleached it. And the whole process of this is to bleach some, let it set or blow dry to see where your definitions are. Then go back in, it's like layering on Photoshop or something. So as you see, it turns into like this salmon-y color. I'm really digging, and I got like some little spots of white. I think I'm gonna go in on these parts so you can see where that white is a little bit more. This is that sleeve I'm going to add my Nubian to somehow as well. Yes, I'm really, really liking how it is. Hey, you fucking right. <laughs> I know I'm fly to you. I'm the sky to you. So it's in the beast. Fucking with newbie. Hey. Decided to add two little rips to the other sleeve. Nothing major. And then the white came out. Really good. And that's now we're just gonna move on to the rinsing process. Um, as you can see, I have a lot of bleach residue, so I'm spraying all that bleach, so I'm going to go ahead and clean that up, so none of the excess gets on me. When we rinse this, I'm going to rinse with cold water, let it run, and I'm going to fill up the sink and let it sit for a good 10-15 minutes, let that drain out, and then I'm washed with soap, and then let it air dry, and then we're going to move on to the next process with the shirt. Okay, yeah, it's on the rinsing process. I rinsed it out once with cold water and kept bringing it out about a good three times. And I filled up the sink with some lukewarm water, some soap, and hand wash it like this. So now you don't want to tangle it too much and mess up your rips. But you know, just squinch it. Make sure you're getting all that bleach thoroughly out of there. And as you see, the color came out magnificent. Now I start to myself. Yes. I might even use this as like a cover up for a bathing suit, even if I'll be able to find like a yellow bathing suit. I feel like this would be so dope, like at a water park or something. Yes. I'm loving the color. Let me just gonna let this air dry after I ring it out. And also, I never, ever, 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 ever do two bleach products in one day. That being said, you will have the worst headache. I'm already doing this without no gloves, no mask, no nothing. It's getting in my pores. So, I made sure every time I went with my layers of bleach, 
that I'm washing my hands in between. And I'm inside my house. I don't have the option of going outside and doing this. So I got both of my windows open. And um, so it's ventilating. Because with my windows closed and trying to do this, like, it's so dangerous. I just don't do that. So I feel like this is good. I'm going to um, go ahead and wring it back out with some cold water. And um, then we're going to go ahead and let it go. Okay, so I done rinsed it out. I didn't let it air dry. I went ahead and blue dry it. That's how it turned out. I'm gonna have to try it on to make sure my lines and everything is pretty much straight, but I think nine times out of ten I'm gonna like it because that's how it's supposed to be. Coming out pretty good if I say so myself.